What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And in this episode we are being sallied upon by the forces trapped in the city of Turin. They're going to break upon our line and be destroyed by concentrated gunfire and sent back to the city, which we will then take. So let's fight. So we're pushing through the uh, northern Italian plains in order to uh, snap up as much land as possible and generate as much income as possible prior to the Great War against the Central Powers. The Eastern Front is going to be a bit, uh, a bit dicey, whereas in the Western Front that's where we're going to be able to squeeze through the front. And that's why taking, taking Italy is so important, because the, ter the territories that uh, make up the city are so valuable, make up the region, are pretty valuable. Uh, but they are sallying, so let's form a line. Let's put our uh, African native troops inside, in, in the centre of the line, so they can get the benefit of some additional gunfire support. And then we've got a pretty elite set of flanking companies. Excellent. I've got some Hessian Jaeger. And lovely blue tunics this time, dark blue. I've got some pikes. And we've got a couple of units of lifeguards. Oh, as, as is tradition. Forgot the howitzers. Gendarmerie. Horse artillery. I mean, it's mostly... Well, it's not, not exceptional quality line. Let's get my heavy cavalry up out front. My marines are going to be fire at will off. Fire will off, but they're going to form square. Nah, you guys haven't fired at will, though. We lost a... Lost one guardsman. But they are going to really slice through these... This unit. You can fire at will now. You can open up on that unit of gendarmerie. Although they're now making their way over to my flank, to my flank. You guys attack the 15th regiment of gendarmerie. Soften them up with some gunfire at range. The line infantry are panicking. Yeah, you guys want to charge into my marines. Have at it. Let's get my marines ready to fire at will. We're going to push these two companies out. Are they try oh, I see. Their default behaviour is to attack the, the guns inside the town, but they can't actually reach them. Alright, run back. So the AI is doing this thing, where they just, for whatever reason, they're just skirting away. So let's break out of our formation a bit. To be honest, let's just bring the war to them. You men push up into the flank to protect the flank of the foot guards. You men turn around and hit the 18th regiment. 113th ready to fire at will. And we can start to cut this unit open with volleys and volleys of muskets. You guys drop into square because you've got cavalry coming. Okay, the lifeguards are the ones that need to drop into square because they're coming right at the flank.
my cavalry back. Fire it will on. Yeah, that cleared them out. Ah, they, they both came back right when I wanted to try redeploy. Ah, uh, my cavalry stays steady. Get you guys to smash into the 43rd Regiment. I'm okay with my howitzers firing round shot at whatever target takes their fancy. You guys open up at the 62nd, you guys switch to round shot, the pair of you. So they want to try fight to save the 43rd regiment. Not gonna happen. My marines and 113th are gonna join the melee. These units are gonna combine. Charge my cavalry up through the gaps. You guys, bottom square, pikes push up. You guys that have exceptional range can turn the flank. Aha, they fooled me. Very well, my African native infantry. Hold on. You guys get out of square. Oh, so they're going to break anyway. So get this unit to charge the 31st. Ooh, artillery. Cease. Actually, start working on the walls, all of you. You guys, cease fire. Well, cease fire of a sort. Advance. My pikes are now in on the combat here. So they are, however long they were going to last before, it's drastically got worse. Charge you guys into the 14th. Get the general involved. Let's go for some of these units like the 62nd that are actually in pretty good nick. Let's get our artillery to start attacking the walls push up our troops to cover the gates get you guys to form a new line up against the flank of the flank of the wall there yep yeah, you've cleared them out oh uh, you can general can go clear out the 31st regiment Two units to climb the walls. You guys get ready to face the enemy right there. So Hessian Jaeger is engaging at point blank range. Let's get the Marines over here as well. They're pouring some good fire into the 39th. There they go. New men old position at the gates. Meh. Feel like they just stop firing. How it says just keep dropping quick climb ahead of the, the line here, I suppose. I mean, that's def I gave you an attack ground order right there. Fortunately, that's a really... You're aiming at this section of the wall. My guys weren't attacking it. Very well. It looks like they're determined to leave the gate open. I laboured under the assumption that they would close it. Redress the, redress the, the lines. My men are charged through and attacking the guns, and all they can do is open up on the, 
The artillery teams from the rear. Who's that coming in here? Regiment of oh, gendarmerie units coming in. go so we've got our way in we've got our marines that are also 109th might not do so well against the french infantry that's already there but here come my marines these are the guys you don't want to be fighting big burly brutes that are going to stove your head in. I mean, not not the taking the wall here is going to be all that necessary. So I'm going to push my line up. Stop the artillery from firing. I don't know how many, how, I don't know how much of you, many of your cavalrymen were killed from pot shots. So if you can kill those two men then you can go help the general kill his handful my cavalry might be repulsed because they are charging up onto a hill We've still got units climbing the wall so we're not going to be able to make max take maximum advantage of our owning of the walls, but the second light foot here under the Hessian Jaeger, accuracy 59. It's huge. Oh, you might, you might win. Fight to the death, man. very well yeah, still climbing the walls see we've still got units in here that they're they're withstanding the attack but they they are falling and my marines have really helped change the tide there we go they've been routed now it is just down to this last unit on the wall because everyone else is routing well, this last unit on the hill so they've thinned out my cavalry that's for sure but imagine this you're fighting oh, I was going to say you're fighting the, cav the, the enemy you know to the to the death on a hilltop and you're there going there's a chance there's a chance we can win and you turn to the left and there's just 70 more heavy cavalry storming your way yep yeah, sorry France your days are done oh pressure 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 Ooh. okay so they've taken uh, Stuttgart interesting I'd I'd very much like Strasbourg because it's on the it means I, I can hold the uh, the river. I can hold the bridge. It's not a deal breaker if I lose it. I just I would just rather have control of the bridge because bridges are just delicious to control, especially when you can intercept armies uh, trying to cross or at least within your zone of control. That's just absolutely delicious. Gotta be careful of the Danes. We might have to land troops. Um, in their territory sooner or later. Hmm. Curious times. There goes Württemberg. Obviously they're raiding. Ooh. So. Prussia's created quite an interesting opportunity at Strasbourg. Because what they've done is they've... Uh, fought a battle that's pushed Württemberg away. So now there is no one at Strasbourg. 
So Mark Cochran can run in <laughs> and go yoink. Understandably, they're not going to withstand. They're not going to let us just get away with that. But what we want to do is we will fight it. I mean, Cologne doesn't like us one bit. So George Wade, you're going to go up to Cologne and garrison it. Upgrade this to a church school. Upgrade this. Because we, we are going to want to fight it because if we take it, it's their last territory. And both these armies disappear. And it does mean that we have a... We can... Well, we've pushed we've pushed up to the uh, to this river. So they, there's only a series of bridges and um, Cologne that actually cross the river. Which is quite a nice front line to hold on this western western border. So we are going to want to take Mark Ocarin. And we're going to attack the Ost the uh, the Württembergs with some support from Prussia. They will not take the city from us, um, but they may be useful in uh, the final assault because they are because they are they are they are our allies. When they f um, both of our armies join the field at once. That can be the danger about fighting a big stack of, say, Prussian troops and a big stack of Austrian troops, is that they can get twice the number of men on the field that you can, because they're from different factions. Whereas if it's five armies of one faction, you can sit there and go, yeah, but they can only bring in one army at a time. So it becomes an endurance thing rather than an overwhelming thing. So my Fusiliers are not going to have a huge role here. They're not even going to be attacking through the breaches. They're going to be firing on the breaches, I suspect. So let's put our houses up front. So let's get some British Grenadiers and a selection of infantry to push the right flank. Another Grenadier unit and a selection of infantry to push the left flank. With our cavalry ready to put ready to deploy at the most advantageous moments. There, enemies. Enemies. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. Not that it's a problem, it's mostly weak cavalry units, so I'm not... It's not a problem. So here comes the Prussians. Grenadiers, Regiment of Horse. This unit at the back has, an art has some artillery. Demi-cannons. There we go, just a big cavalry battle. There's some cav there's some um, militia to the rear. So you guys doing okay. Quick climbing howitzers. They're performing admirably as you would expect. 20 provincial cav militia. They brought some line infantry in. Looks like that's it. Quick climb has come in and done some good damage, yeah. Prussia has yet to start making their breach. Another quick climb attack comes in. Yeah, attack the well. The infantry is the thing to kill now, but they don't have... They don't even have bayonets, so... Not a huge danger there. So let's push one flank up. Let's push up my right flank, because it's completely uncontested. Even if I don't... Even if I don't make a breach in time, it really doesn't matter at this point. I mean, I might even just focus all my artillery to hit this 
section of the breach. So Prussia wants to combine their forces. No, the artillery has opened that. Well, I didn't see where that cannonball went. It's not hit anything. Not any of them. Not hit any of the main wall sections, at least. The fight is ongoing. So I might push these guys over here as well. So let's focus on quick climbing the units in, on the left. Let's get you and my grenadier guards up on the wall. Let's get you guys to capture the gatehouse. Because that's the, we're going to be capturing that gay house pretty. Actually, we're going to be capturing this one pretty quick. No, we're not. Let's get my cavalry over on that flank first. You guys assault the wall. Well, actually, we will get it open. Yeah, Wurttemberg have been destroyed. The reinforcements are gone. Start to attack that garrison line unit in the centre. Yeah, these units are just going to be forming a guard. Here come the here come the the Prussians. Superior line infantry. Scale the walls, you dogs. You've got men to kill. So where's my... Fusiliers, Fusiliers line. Okay, there we go. The battle for the walls has begun. And let the chugging commence. Infantry advance. Fusiliers run through. How nice, we're not actually fighting here. We are going to make them fight. You guys are going to attack or attacking the militia here. Once you guys are up, you're also going to be attacking the militia. My line infantry are going to attack any individual units that are here. My fusiliers are going to open fire on every on any unit that's in the ground. Hey, you guys have scaled the wall. Sneaky devils. How it says ceasefire. There we go, let's get my cavalry in. My guys are doing well, it says combatants are even in that fight, but I I doubt that's really the case. Good, I want my fusiliers like that. I just, I don't I just don't want there to be any shenanigans. Say if Prussia gets to the middle, do they get the city? I don't know, and I don't want to try it. I'm pretty sure they don't, but you know, I don't wanna lose a city like this to because a unit of damn militia got in the way.
not when the the entry is being paid for by good British stout fellows. Make sure you guys are staying out of the way. I just want a fusilier unit to stand in the middle, get it ticking under the flag of the British Empire. Third regiment of foot. Going down. Enemy general's been killed. We're making good advances on all fronts. The enemy is falling en masse. Yeah, this unit of line, you attack the sixth. My grenadiers can charge along the wall and try and attack a new unit. You guys pivot to fight that enemy. No, you guys continue to fight them. The lifeguards hit the firelock armor citizenry. We're just chucking more and more men into this fight against the militia. Excellent. Kill the. I think Grenadier killed the officer. Oh no, he's going to... Oh, is he going to melt back into the... Into the abyss? Yeah, I think he is. There they go. Their forces have broken. They could not withstand our... Our attack. Yeah, we took all the gates. That meant that the second horse guards could get itself involved. In our... They're parading. So you guys are still here. So you guys turn around. The Prussia's there going, we're here as well, guys. Yeah, but did you actually kill anyone? Oh, you're trying. You're going to try and attack the second. But our volleys are going to crush them. But also the time has expired. Don't trust the sincerity with which Prussia supported us there, in air quotes. Don't think it can, no, it doesn't show us Prussian stats. Hmm. The siege is there we go. Territory is coherent. Good stuff. That's a nice solid front line and that's why i'm looking forward to taking these remaining territory because territory because territories here because it gives us a new front line with the ottomans i mean this is a yeah that's a that, that army's done i mean we lost a lot more troops than we should have because of the auto resolve but there we are to recruit two sloops to occupy both of these ports so you're still on the defensive that. here as are you they just let them let them keep coming so let's check this can let's check the construction because we've now unlocked some excellent top tier technology so you want to make sure we keep our economy investment up especially in the territories like the Americas that now no longer have or largely have no real enemies we still want to prepare for war against the 13 colonies but it needs to be done in a way that doesn't prejudice the land campaigns in Europe see so all standing by Let's go on en masse. Okay, let's just start. Let's just dump a load of money into into towns because we've got top tier industrial buildings researched now. So the sooner we get them upgraded, it's just a thing we don't ever have to spend money on ever again. It's the reached the end of its development. Spend our money. 
spend money to make money. Oh, these factories are going to produce so much cash. Obviously, not when we run out of cash. You're going to go join Alexander Crouch here. So I might want to generate another army. Umblin Fusiliers, yes please. Let's get some Queen's Rangers. Let's create another army ready to spar off against these chaps. Whatever troops we have here, I mean, we do have to take over. We do have to take over the Pueblo nations and the uh, the Plains nations peoples. But any troops we do have spare will be. They will form the bulk of our forces we send against uh, the Marathi Confederacy. Because you see, they are completely uncontested in their mastery of the continent. Ooh, shrapnel shot next turn. Good stuff. Now recruitment of our Scottish armies is ongoing. Jareth Hutchinson. Yes. Some Irish rifles and some real rifles. Cool. Um, well, let's hit end turn. Yeah. The Spanish are soon to be destroyed. Desperate for peace and they're not going to get it. I mean, Prussia. Well, to be honest, Prussia is, is actually... Combining a lot of their power in one place. So we do still have... You know, we are mostly strong everywhere. Whereas these guys have some high concentrations of strength. But elsewhere they're in trouble when the war is finally declared. The Marathas are coming in, hoping to learn our secrets. But it's not going to work. Persia continuing to see. Do they? Does someone else own Persia then? Because they definitely fought someone and got repelled just then. But I can't see it. It looks pretty Persia to me. Oh, go on, Denmark, invade Russia. Yeah, just happy to let you guys do you. Rake our territory. Let's get you down to Williamsburg did remind me I do have a okay let's start oh, is the rake in Stuttgart okay let's get my rake into Prague and we've also got a rake here in Turin which we want to send on to Venice okay start to send our sloops across to garrison ports Upgrade a body house in France. Got a new town in St. Petersburg. A lot of spending in St. Petersburg. It is on the front line with a with Persia. I mean Persia's not a major enemy of ours at the moment, but it's still something to be aware of. Trade routes have been raided. So we've researched shrapnel shot. We are not going on to research rockets. Going on to research screw breach. A suspicious death by Randall Axford. Oh, the agent finally killed him. Very well. Hilario Huntsman is here to take up the challenge. So we know there's a rake around there doing something. Lumber Mills Theatre in Moscow. So upgrade you to Pleasure Garden. Trading board in Iran. Steam engine factory. Steam engine factory. Lumber Mill. All top tier. Commercial port at Brest. See, that's one way to suck cash up is to uh, invest in global trading companies. I mean, you make a bunch of cash later on, but you pay for it. Let's make sure all of our the towns we've got that are currently that have currently been developed are graded. Pretty sure that's oh, I've got to say pretty sure that's everyone. Turns out that was a lie. 
Good stuff. So tax income is 160,000. Yes, yeah, so if we lose all our ports now, trade is the gravy. And you'd expect it because we own so much of the world now. And there are people that just won't trade with us. See, we're very friendly with the Ottomans. Prussia is not so keen. But I am keen to force them to choose. I mean, if the Ottomans decided not to join them and joined us, that would be pretty cool. Oh, we have to repair the military governor's barracks. Don't worry. Soon Milan will be destroyed. And is that? That's the end of the French. So soon it's almost the end of France and Spain, which is two major factions, which is great. Two more turns to interchangeable parts. Concussion shells are handy, but... Eh. Nah, I'm going to keep my... Keep my priorities. Aha. So... You guys combine as our marines. So we need two units. And I know what they're going to be. Just need to find them. Oh, if I can't find them, I'm just going to recruit them straight from Edinburgh. Because that's what they are. Royal Highland Grenadiers. So I'm going to recruit one for now because I've run out of money. But yes, this army... This army will do. <laughs> Recruited units just snaking their way across the 13 colonies lands, because even though I'm not at war with them, I still do have um, access to their lands. And we're, being def we're defending against Cagli Cagliari and Garrison. So let's fight this soon. Well, this could potentially be the end of Spain. This might be the last, the last action of a desperate and broken empire. But the island will be secured. We can upgrade it and invest it. And this army can rest and refit to march on Genoa. So we'd be interested to know if the Genoese, if the Genoese faction has any interesting alliance quirks that cause them to actually have some uh, quite interesting utility. Can we use Genoa to force a current ally to break their alliance. I don't know. Rogers Rangers secure the guns. They don't have any great strength. Yeah. No great strength. They're all going to focus on the howitzers. But yeah, they've just not their strength is not found in their forces on the field at the moment. This is why Spain is a declining empire. Keeping shrapnel sharp. Focus on the right flank because that's where the closest units are. go so we've now battle lines have been joined grenadiers colonial line line infantry yeah well, there goes the first regiment the shrapnel shots boom home straight to the back of the first regiment There's not going to be any need to pursue them. This is just a feeble force thrown together out of desperation and madness. Oh god, the quick climbing of the units only got 85 men in it. Have you no pity? Okay, where you are. You can both shoot at the second regiment. You thought all my troops are even in formation yet. They've been running the whole time. 44. Yeah. Poor, poor Spain. 
What you gonna do? <laughs> Obviously the general's bodyguard comes back from outing. It's the last unit. Ah, my... My blinds! Go. Some was... <laughs> the sun had moved through the sky, as it often does, and just started to burn my retinas out. But there we go. I'm not going to chase them down. That's enough. Let those poor, poor men who make up the bulk of their remaining forces go back to their homes. Although actually, it looks like most of them have been destroyed. Yeah, the Prussian forces are falling back to their lands. They have no way... Well, they do have a way to make war. They could sail from northern Germany around into the Mediterranean and land on Russian territory. Because they are at war with Russia. Here comes the Morasses. Poor, poor souls. Well, those rebels, do you think? Are those, per those are Persian re rebels? That's why they keep attacking, but it looks like Persia's in charge. Let's have a look. Got a Protestant missionary in Florida. Good stuff. Let's scoot him on up to... Actually, I think we're okay in general. Let's go have a look. So, yeah, Persia owns it. Those those have to be Persian rebels, right? Yeah, they are. Persian rebels. More Persian rebels. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. There we go. So, yeah, so that was the last turn that the forces in Cagliari could hold out. Let's destroy the shipyard. Upgrade the silver mine. Upgrade the wineries. Upgrade the roads. Replenish my forces. So you're ha I'm happy to keep you guys... You guys to wait because they have to attack us next turn because they have no choice. You're ready. As are you guys. Let's move our sloop across to Porto Mazurio. Upgrade the port. Let's check our building. Lots of good top tier buildings. Let's upgrade the global trading company. We smatter them in, it won't be such a financial pit to do it all at once. Let's make sure um, Amsterdam is up, is all up and ready to go for the future war. Same with Paris. couple of factories can be upgraded so now upper louisiana is going to really be yeah upper, even upper louisiana a town that's just in, not in the middle of nowhere but it's just near eh, it's booming at 120 gold per turn yeah more troops are making their way down to alexander let's get some more mercenaries let's get some 12 pounders some howitzers let's Get Colonial Dragoons it is. Let's upgrade our buildings in New England. Just, let's not upgrade the commercial port because I need to hop to Europe. Well, first of all, can you guys leave Turin? Minus seven. No, you can't directly leave. So let's recruit. Let's spend a turn recruiting some Dragoons. I suspect you know is the same because you're already unhappy with us. That's it. They're right there. It's the last French territory. I don't know how well <laughs> how well equipped they are. So Jude Abbott. Ah, uh, yes. You're getting this artillery. The new men can control the bridge. Let's make sure the roads are all top quality. 
So. Ah, uh, yes, you need... You're getting one more... Um, you're getting your... Highland Grenadier unit. Then what we want to do... Is do it again. So Jareth Hutchinson... Hutchinson has been... Oh, I can't... Oh, I don't have any money. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep building armies because we've got loads of really cool units here in England. So this army is going to be complete and then I'm not sure where I'm going to send it. Maybe... It might stage itself in southern France ready for... If we declare on... if Well, if the Ottomans declare on us then we can land and hit Naples. But let's have a look at Genoa. They're at war with the Ottomans. Hmm... You're not Mr. Castiglione. I <laughs> uh, Denmark is a tempting target, as is Persia. No. Let's take our enemies in bite-sized chunks. As we're building up that other army, what I am going to do is... Well, I'm probably going to declare war on the 13 colonies. My recruitment is going well in England. I'm building up some good amount of troops. I'm not going to be... Well... My, my economic investment is going incredibly well. So there's no... I haven't got a major worry about my economy anymore. I mean, I, I will do because I... I'm still spending all of my money per turn, just because I can. Ooh, it told me to pre prepare for borders for a second. So the Persian rebels are still... They're still fighting. Persia's really unhappy with whatever's going on, and that's not great, because they're my trade partner. You guys are going to go come and attack me at Tunis, aren't you? Oh, I thought at least those guys would come in and help. Oh well. Let us fight the remaining... Forces at Tunis. Yeah, so it's it's important to know that there are, there are times where you need to be on the offensive and make sure you keep, you know, knocking out those, knocking out territories one at a time. No, one after another. Sorry. Pardon me, everyone. The doorbell's just rung. And I'm back. So we know. <laughs> Well, we're going to go offensive again because we know they've not got they've not got good quality troops at the best of times, and our army is now in fantastic shape. So we are going to push and annihilate the enemy, and hopefully get our new general, whose predecessor was assassinated, some experience. Ah, we have to knock our way in. Look how tiny their army is, because it's all just so depleted. I'm going to speed up time, because I am just going to blow a hole in their wall. It's taken no time at all to make it happen either. But let's take... So I'm blowing a hole in their wall to make sure we can get in. Take one of our units and get them to. So you guys might have to guard the flank. You guys climb the wall. Just bring the fight to them. My cavalry, because of that bias to the left, is actually going to most it. Well, all of it's going to come over onto the right because these guys might actually try and push out. There we go. My men are ready. So we've got camels coming in through the through the door. Oh, you've just opened the door and just received a, a volley of musketry into their wall of camels. Let's have two of these. These two units form square. Let's get our artillery keep dropping square on the door frame. Let's, we've blown our way through. 
Yeah, so these there's a lot of stuff coming out the right flank, so that's why I wanted some more cavalry to cover. Because fundamentally in here we're pretty pretty safe. So we've got plenty of infantry inside, but it's all barber pirates. And well, I say plenty. It looks like a lot. <laughs> But not in terms of an army, it's not a lot. Yep, there go the camel nomads. You men form square, ready for the camels that are coming in. These two units here are going to be able to... Oh man, if they're going to counter charge us, they better be quick, because we've got a whole bunch of troops climbing up here, all different cut styles. Retarget the quick climb onto the breach. Oh, it's going to fire as well. So let's have a look, get ready. Oh. Pretty bear. Charge the lifeguards in here. Advance, advance, advance. Get our cavalry in around the uh, the other entrance now. So we've captured the well, we've captured everything. So let's get our howitzers to start lobbing shots onto the camels. You guys all start to fight against the Barbary pirates. Okay, don't attack. Center, keep dropping quick climb shots in. Let's bring our cavalry around the rear quickly. Let's bring you guys over as well. Oh man, yeah, that's not going well for them. Okay, there we go. That's a couple of one routing unit knocked down to 22 men. And this barber pirate unit is going down rapidly. So the lifeguards attack the general's bodyguard, and my light horse attack the artillery. So there's a couple of them stuck on the uh, door frame. There we go. That's their, that's their infantry cleared out, so my men can storm the breach with no resistance. Artillery men are going down. Let's get the Hussars to fight the General's bodyguard. You guys swarm down off of the steps. Do the old switcheroo. The Hussars can hit the General's bodyguard, my lifeguards can come over here and knock out the camel gunners. Ooh, did I quickly a whole bunch of my own guys? Yep, I did. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Bit more replenishment for you guys. There we go, that's the camel gunners under attack. So my Hussars are enough. Fight the general's bodyguard. There we go. There go the camel gunners. There we go. They're wavering, so they're being attacked by. Good quality infantry, but also by cavalry that's charged them from the rear. Enemy general's been killed. Sweet. This territory is ours. <laughs> Excellent. So Tunis is taken, and 
There's a couple of units sat outside the walls that might be a bit cause a bit of trouble, a bit of raiding. They might, might have some raiding issues and so on, but I don't foresee any great problems on the horizon. My agent is now he's in Prague. So let's replenish. To be honest, I might see if you guys can run around to the other side of these guys, hit them, just push them away. I mean, that's a full army over there. That's two ar two good armies there, actually. This might be a bit dicey. Especially as they can land immediately, although it's lots of lots of desert militia. But we could do this. Take this light galley out. Oh no, you're waiting for... No, there they are. The Royal Highlander... Royal Highland Grenadiers. Let's get you into Liverpool. So let's embark them. There we... Oh, I can't do it in this menu. So they're embarked. Question is, can I cannot get them all the way there but I can get them to Algiero ready yes, my lord. Ready if something else goes on. if uh, ready for the next turn ready to push them on in then we got Kevin McDowell so let's get you on the recruitment party if you can get two units of horse guards and that's your lot let's get a regiment of horse Let's get two 24-pound horse artillery, get two 24-pound howitzers. Let's get... No, 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 no. Before I focus on artillery, obviously I want to get some green jacketed rifles. Let's get a unit of Irish rifles, get a unit of green jackets. And let's get an incredibly thematic Highlander Warband. There we go. Getting ready to create another uh, cool looking British Celtic army. You guys push up to the to the river there. Let's fix some of our buildings and do a bit of upgrading. You can get make sure Berlin is under under uh, surveillance. So you got the Berlin Academy, we don't have the Brandenburg Gate. Good army under Augustus Rose. Yeah, part of the reason why I'm not upgrading everything in this area is because a good chunk of it's going to end up being raided and potentially some areas lost. So let's spend a good chunk of money upgrading the city at St. Petersburg, ready for when we eventually push on to Persia and then on to Denmark. New town emerges in Savoy. So we've, we've researched the thrashing machine, now they're starting to research mash production, we've got interchangeable parts, now they're going on to explosive rockets. So, rockets, nay, especially for something as good as you, you can actually research... Uh, we don't really want rockets. Let's get... Preserved foods, plus two morale and naval battles. So in terms of construction, again, keep dropping down the odd commercial, the odd um, global trading company upgrade, and let's also keep our industry buildings upgrading. Because they do earn us absolute bank. Let's drop the odd global trading company in there because I want to make sure I do need to keep chipping away at such expenses. No, not you. There we go. Good expenses. Ooh. 
Dijon's being upgraded, but Lyon is not. But now I think this army can march out of Turin. We can put the, the cavalry in. I can exempt them from tax. I can push on and attack Milan. And this will be the last battle to destroy the French. So, by looking at the timer, well, what, what, what I remember the timer being, I think that is the end of the battle. And we're going to destroy the French Empire for good. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.